Meantime, a new way to keep your family safe if another hurricane was to threaten Jacksonville and its nearby coastlines. Florida Department of Transportation is changing its evacuation plan. The new design, hopefully to make it easier for people to get out of the storm's path. Channel 4's Chris Parento joins us live from Mixon Town. And Chris, basically the bottom line is creating more lanes for a better flow of traffic. And that's the goal, to make sure that cars aren't just sitting on I-10 when a storm is approaching. DOT says that it's important that they are able to keep traffic moving on I-10 using their resources in the best way possible. They say that this new plan will do just that. In 1999, when Hurricane Floyd was headed our way, thousands sat in gridlock on I-10 as they tried to head west away from the storm. After that, the Department of Transportation put a plan in place to use westbound and eastbound lanes of I-10 in an evacuation known as ContraFlow. But that had its own issues. You had to have all the different interchanges closed off and a lot of law enforcement out there um, and then trying to work that. Because of that, all of I-10 would have been lined with law enforcement or other state workers closing traffic in certain areas during a storm. Now, there's a new plan in place that may help use fewer personnel. If needed, the right shoulder or outside shoulder of I-10 heading westbound in an evacuation would be used. The shoulder would be available to use from State Road 23 all the way to I-75. The shoulder would have to be swept first to make sure that it was clear of debris for cars. This would help us to be able to implement it more effectively and quickly. Department of Transportation spokesman Ron Tittle says because the shoulder is more narrow than travel lanes, cars would have to go slower. That's why he says if an evacuation order is given, it's important to get out early and be prepared. If you're gonna get on the road, have plenty of water, gas, all the things to sustain you while you're on the road. The decision to use those shoulder lane of I-10 in an evacuation would come from the state level. It would have to be authorized by Governor Rick Scott before it could be used in an evacuation. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, the local station.